going to get started today looking at the second half of our data analysis unit. To begin, we will look at a special group of frequency tables referred to as two-way frequency tables. The type of data we are organizing into these tables are referred to as categorical data. When you hear this, think categories. Since this is a two-way table, all of our data can fit into exactly two categories, one on each side of the table. Along the top, we have the categories yes has a cell phone and no does not have a cell phone. Down the left, we have age categories. The values in the middle of the table highlighted red are referred to as joint frequencies. They represent the number of people who simultaneously fit into the category above and to the left. So this 25 means that there are 25 10 to 12 year olds who have a cell phone. Written in green along the bottom and right hand sides are totals referred to as marginal frequencies. This is the total count for each column and each row. They are called marginals because the end of the row or column is referred to as a margin. Let's look at another example and fill in some of those frequencies. We are given a survey that includes 100 different students. So this grand total will be found in the bottom right of our table. We are told 40 students prefer pen compared to pencil. That's a marginal frequency, which will be found at the bottom of the column marked pen. We are told 45 students prefer unlined paper compared to lined paper. Once again, this is a marginal frequency, which is found at the end of the row marked unlined. We are told 10 students prefer using lined paper with a pen. That's a joint frequency. Two categories apply, so we find the cell representing each of those categories and mark down a 10. Last, we are told 45 students prefer pencil with lined paper. Once again, that's a joint frequency, so we find the cell with both categories and mark down a 45. For the remaining values, which I've shown in gray, we will need to complete the puzzle using subtraction. We know 10 plus 45 must equal the margin total 55. We also know 10 plus 30 must equal the margin total 40. From there, we can fill in 40 plus 60 equals 100. Last, we fill in 30 plus 15 equals 45. Now we can answer a few questions using those frequencies. It says, how many students prefer using pencil, that's 60, compared to those using lined paper, that's 55. How many students prefer using pen on unlined paper? That's a joint frequency, which is 30. How many students prefer using pencil with unlined paper? That's also a joint frequency, and that's 15. One final example. We're told that 80 fruit flies are selected for this experiment. The two-way table is complete on the right-hand side. The first question says, what does the 17 represent in the table? Well, 17 is the joint frequency of curled wings and red eyes. These 17 flies have both curled wings and red eyes. How many offspring had white eyes? Well, that's a marginal frequency of 5 plus 13, which is going to be 18 flies. How many fly offspring have standard wings? That's another marginal frequency. That'll be 45 and 13, which sum to give 58 flies. For today's assignment, you're going to conduct a survey, which will result in two-way table data. You're going to come up with two questions that could be used to survey your family, friends, and or your followers. Here's a possible example for you. You could survey your friends whether they prefer having class at school or class online and categorize your results across two platforms, such as Snapchat or TikTok. Tomorrow, I'm going to post a form for you to complete with your survey data, so make sure you take some time to generate some creative questions for your survey audience.